you know, I've been off the grid for over 10 years now. And uh, I still have a lot of people trying to prove to me that I'm lying or I've got some kind of agenda. That's not what this channel is about. This channel does not get political. It does not have an agenda. I'm not receiving money from people. I'm just pretty much saying, hey, if you do your system logically, you can go off the grid for pennies on the dollar versus, you know, buying a solar installer company coming out and charging you like $100,000 for your panel. That being said, the number one complaint I get is, what about hailstones? Well, if you get a hailstone, one panel busts, your whole system's down. I've already shown people that the solar panels are tougher than what they think, but we do get some hailstones, and there have been panels busted by hailstones. So for today, I figured it'd be interesting if we could test to see how much damage a solar panel can sustain and still produce usable power. Usable is in, say, let's say um, it could charge a 12-volt battery, or we can utilize the voltage somewhere else. I figured the best way to do that is to shoot a panel. None, none of these. I need these. I need all those. <laughs> I'm talking about one of these little ones I've got up top here on the shed. I put the big panels on last year, and they're producing more power than those little ones will ever produce. So I really don't need the little ones, and they were cheap. I got them for like five bucks a piece used, and they're still producing like quite a bit of power. So we're just going to take one off real quick, and we're going to use it for our experiment. Man, I screwed the hell out of these. I guess I didn't want this thing going anywhere. Ah, well. Oh, when I rounded them off, too. Oh, yeah, that's just great. Okay, we're out here in the middle of the field all loaded up. I got my solar panel off. We're getting ready to set it up. I chose this spot because this is kind of our personal shooting range. There is nothing that way at all for a long, long ways. Nothing but trees and random critters and such. So I feel like that would be the safest area to shoot at these panels. So I'm going to set the panel up down there. But first, let's get some control numbers. Originally thought I could leave the meter hooked up to the panel. We were shooting it, but uh, I don't think I want to hit my my uh, meter. It's a little cheapy one, but still, it's a good meter. Okay. Looks like our base voltage, oh, it's 20 volts. That's not bad for a little panel like this. <laughs> now, let's test the, the amperage. At uh, How do I do amperage on here? 10 amp over here. Never ran amperage on this one. Oh, I'm testing for sine wave. I'm an idiot. At 0.87 of an amp. It looks like it's a 30-watt panel. Power voltage, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so we do have a 30-watt panel. Making 20 volts at 0.86 amps. So we're almost making whatever the math is. Which is not bad. Not bad for an old panel like this. But let's see how much is affected once it breaks. Hang on, I'll be right back. I forgot ammo. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I got to hurry. I'm running out of sunlight. It's supposed to storm all day tomorrow. You can see how long my shadow is getting. Okay, we're going to start off with the standard 22 caliber rifle. When's the last time you've seen 22s for that price? <laughs> Woo! We're ready to shoot. In three, two, one. <laughs> Bam! Right there. Bingo. You can see there's a beautiful hole right in the middle of my panel. Okay, let's see how she fared with the setting sun. I got to hurry. Where's the cable? Ah, here's the cable. Okay. Connecting it to the black and the red. Uh. What? <laughs> okay, um, I didn't expect that, so I'm going to say it's probably with the setting sun, the angle of the sun, but I want you to look at here. We have a hole in the solar panel. I take my two leads. I connect the red to the red, check for amperage, and uh, my amperage has gone up. So I'm going to say... 86 was not, 0.86 was not our starting point. Let's see what our voltage is. All right, what's it say? 19.6. 19.6. And I still feel it through my fingers. That's, um, that, that's better than what I thought. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're going to go 19.6 uh, as our voltage and one amp as our uh, as our uh, current. Let's ramp things up. Okay, we're going to move on to my personal favorite, the 12 gauge Stoger coach gun, double barrel. Because nothing says fuck you like a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> Let's try a deer slug. This is actually my farm gun. I use this for uh, keeping wildlife at bay. Ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> one. Bam! Oh, 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 yeah. Let's go see what it does. Oh, man. Look at that hole. I was aiming for the bullet hole I put the 22 in. I almost hit it. I don't. I don't know where my log went. <laughs> uh, there was a log back there holding it up. Hold on. Uh, it was right here. Oh, here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> I don't know what side I hit it on. Looks like this side. I think I hit it right here. I was aiming for the log because I kind of wanted to absorb most of the impact of the energy. So that way the shell doesn't go skipping off in the middle of nowhere and hit a critter by accident. But golly. <laughs> All right, let me grab the meter. Let's see what we got. We'll stand this up like we did last. Oop, my log's falling apart. We'll try to stand this up like we did last time. There we go. First, we're going to check voltage. 19.7. There's two freaking bullet holes in this panel, and it's still producing 19.7 volts. That's insane. And, look here. We blew one of little communicator strips off. So this row of cells is not producing as much. So I'm, I'm fairly sure our amperage is going to drop in this case. So let's find out. Aha, there it is. Okay. So we're getting 47, 0.47 amps. So that dropped it quite a bit, which odds are is because we shot this little communicator right here. This little line right here is supposed to go all the way down the cell. So that kind of killed its production. But that's my whole point. It's still producing. It's still producing. Half an amp, not much, but we could find a use for that. We could find somewhere to put that. That's incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> oh, man. 12 gauge shotgun into a solar panel, and it's still it's still producing. I guess we're just going to have to ramp it up, see what it takes to kill the dang thing. So, let's move on to double up buck. I got to hurry. I'm running out of light. 12 gauge, double up buck, solar panel. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man i love this gun oh nice all right let's go see what the damage is One. Oh, 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 oh gosh <laughs> oh man i was hoping it would scatter out more oh god look at this i skinned the log <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. All right, let me grab the meter. We'll try it again and see what we get. All right, amperage. Okay, we have disconnected another communicator right here. You can see the wire coming off. But in, odd, <laughs> in seriousness, I could solder that back together jump that and make those cells produce but we're still getting 0.16 amps from the setting sun 0.17 it's still producing it's not producing a lot mind you it's lost a lot let's see what our voltage is there you go 19.6 19.6 look at this come here look at this look at this 19.6 it's still getting 19.6 volts this is, this is still a usable solar panel, and we shot it three times. 
it's busted. It's shattered. I mean, it's it's got parts against it flying off of it. And we're still getting 19.6 voltage. We're still getting like full voltage. And we're still, now granted, we lost a lot of average. Every time we shot it, it went down about 50%, didn't it? But we could still make this panel work somewhere. If that's a 100-watt panel, that's, that's roughly 10 watts of power. Not much. But you get what I'm saying. We can still make this panel work, and it's got a bunch of holes in it. Wow. What do we got to do to kill this thing? There's one more thing I want to try before we run out of sun. <laughs> Look at this. I'm still getting 18.5, 18.6 volts. I ran over this thing with my deuce and a half. It's still producing. Holy crap. <laughs> These things are incredible. <laughs> I am impressed. And anyway, there you go. Sun's getting really low. I'm running out of time. I got to clean my mess up. Don't worry. I am going to clean my mess up. <laughs> didn't expect that did you so if you guys like that why don't you consider subscribing to my channel it really help out or at least drop a like i mean i'm not making anything on youtube yet <laughs> plus we're also trying to build a house here soon it's going to go right here it's going to be revolutionary new off-grid home you'll <laughs> just you guys wait and see i'm really excited about it anyway off-grid guru out